Grenada head coach Charlie Joseph was not overjoyed with grabbing a point on the road versus Trinidad and Tobago as the World Cup qualifying campaign began in Port of Spain. Uh, to be honest, a little bit disappointed. I thought we, we had the game in hand. I thought we did we did, we did really good on both sides of the ball. Uh, unfortunately, we gave up two goals of things we talked about all week. In, t in the second goal, we gave up one with a long ball and a flick on. Our defenders were just slow to react. Uh, and then the first one, late in the first half, we have to do a better job of being professional and understand what time in the game, what time in the game it is. Going 2-0 up within the first half hour was no surprise. Uh, we've been planning, we've been talking about uh, what we do when we score the first one, what we do when we score the second one. Uh, it was crucial that we got the third one. Darius had an opportunity in the first half to be 3 nothing up and the keeper made a save. He could have done better, but the keeper made a save. So nothing surprised me about the way we play, especially in the first half. We wanted to be the aggressor even though we are, even though we are on the road. Uh, it's my mentality. It's the mentality I try to carry through to the team, to the country when we train. And it's something that I try to instill in those players day after day, that we, no matter where we are, especially in Trinidad, they're a great country, great team. We need to be the aggressor when we step on the field. Joseph is pleased with the advancement of the game in the region, but admits a lot of work lies ahead. I think uh, we need help with our infrastructure, we need help with our facilities, we need help trying to locate the best of the players from each country. But you can see there's a growth, you can see there's progress in terms of the way Trinidad play, the way we are playing. We start to find other players from different parts of the countries. And once you can gel them and put them together, you'll see great product on the field. And tonight, you see some individual skills. You see the Telfair, you see the Garcia on our side, you see the Darius, you see the Jermaine. There's some individual brilliance out there. It's just trying to put it together within a short time, within a short window. That's what the international break is about. How can you put your team together and make sure that you're ready to go when the whistle blow? The former New England Revolution midfielder shared a reality of preparing a team within the FIFA match window. I'm only here for six weeks. I'm done after this on Monday. Uh, so it, it was very difficult to prepare. To, I watched eight games at Trinidad, 10, because I watched two in 2022. So it was very difficult to prepare. You have a short time, you have a short window, and you have to make sure you get the philosophy right, make sure you get your principle right. But those guys are in our country are playing at a high level, not the highest level, but they are playing at a high level. So when you come, it's just understanding and trying to fine tune they're trying to fine tune the right principles to make sure that they understand this is what we need and this is what this is what's going to happen during the game. Grenada's next assignment is at home against Costa Rica on Sunday. We in Cunningham, TD Sport.